Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So Samsung is doing things. They've updated their smartwatch processor after three years. Here's everything you need to know about the Exynos W920. Let's get started. The Exynos 9110 was found on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 1. The original Samsung Galaxy Watch was launched in 2018 over three years ago right now. And ever since then, Samsung has not updated their processor up until now. Here are three things that you should know first. Android processors are not very good. By Android, I mean Qualcomm because up until 2021, Exynos wasn't really in the game. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, when you compare it to the Apple A14 processor from last year, isn't very good. And then when you add in Apple's software optimizations, it isn't even a close fight. Secondly, you should know that the Apple Watch 1 had the Apple S1 SIP, that's a system in package, and apparently it wasn't very good at all. It took Apple three years up until the Apple Watch Series 3 for them to actually get a good processor and good software on their Apple Watch. Thirdly, Android smartwatch manufacturers have a TAM problem, that's total addressable market. According to CounterPoint Research, link in the description right next to that like button, Apple Watch SE has 40% of the smartwatch market and the rest of it is held by other Apple smartwatches. Now the Galaxy Watch, other Android smartwatches, they have to fight to survive. It doesn't really make sense for a company, apart from the fact of them being Apple and having billions of dollars in the bank, to really invest money into building out smartwatch processors. However, Samsung is really taking a gamble here with the Exynos W920 and we have to appreciate them for that. The Exynos W920 is supposed to be the world's first, industry first, 5 nanometer processor in a smartwatch. Now, when you compare this to the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 3100, it's a 28 nanometer processor and the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4200 plus these names, it's a 12 nanometer processor. Obviously, the Exynos W920 will be a lot better. It will be a lot more efficient. Secondly, it has 20% better performance. That's because it's using the Cortex A55 cores as opposed to the Cortex A53 cores. That's going to be pretty significant in your day-to-day -day use. And finally, it has 10 times better GPU performance. Now, I don't care who you are, when you make a 10 times jump from one generation to the other, you're doing something right. This is because of the Mali G68 GPU. Obviously, you're not going to be playing high-intensity games on your watch, but I don't think people will complain that they have too much graphical power. It also has the M55 co-processor, meaning it will have a functioning always-on display. Now, I've always believed that a smartwatch should be a watch fundamentally, and it should tell you the time all of the time. It will obviously also have 4G and Bluetooth and GNSS, but all of these are standard at this point of time. Now, when you compare this to the Apple Watch Series 6 with the Apple S6 SIP, I don't really have geek bench for you, but I feel that the W920 will be on par. It might be a little bit slower than the Apple Watch Series 7 with the Apple S7 processor launching in September, but then again, it's a giant leap for Android smartwatches. I think that the Exynos W920 has turned the world upside down when it comes to smartwatches. See what I did there? If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Blog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.